Today, Twitch chat is going to control my Nintendo Switch and try to beat a level 9 computer in Smash Bros. Ultimate. But of course, I'm not sending them into battle alone, because they'll be teaming up with my very own artificial intelligence. This extremely stupid AI that I made will control player 2 and constantly spam random inputs, and it will be up to him and Twitch chat to defeat an extremely hard computer together. To start off, our heroes will face a level 1 computer. Once they've beaten it and powered up, they'll move on to a level 5 CPU and then finally to the season finale, a level nine. Good luck. You guys are gonna have to come up with your own strategy. I'm gonna have to develop the AI using code and figure out what's gonna be best for him. And we will slowly get better and better like an anime arc and become the ultimate duo and defeat a level nine computer. I do not know if this is doable. I feel like it's not possible, which is what you always say at the beginning of an anime. I'm sure it's possible, but it'll probably be really, really goddamn hard. Everybody ready? Twitch chat is playing as Little Mac. The AI is playing as Duck Hunt, and Mario is a level one computer. You guys have all of the normal Smash Bros commands. Up, down, left, right, left smash, right smash, up B, down B, right B. Everything that you can think of, you have at your disposal. You just have to coordinate them perfectly. Both of you have killed yourself. If you just kind of stay stationary, you can take down Mario. You're moving too much. The AI is doing great. Look at him. He's staying center stage, keeping control. You guys are sort of ganging on him right now. Here's an issue with the fact that he's level one. The computer isn't approaching you guys, which just like gives you more opportunities to jump off the edge. AI kills himself. And all right, AI's off. There was something over there he had to check out. One life versus three. Get him. Oh, big hit. Let's go. Let's go. All right, you're warming up. All right, look, I don't want to be pessimistic, but how the fuck are we going to be a level nine computer is what I would say if we didn't have a whole lot of strategy that we can start incorporating. First off, we got to make Chris smash the AI even better because right now he just jumped off the edge. I have an idea. What if instead of deciding random things to move around or attack, what if he just doesn't move at all and he just attacks and then we switch to a stage that doesn't have platforms. Then the, the computer comes to him. That should work. We want the AI as stationary as possible. We want to think of the AI as like a cactus. If the computer gets near him, he'll get pricked. Your guys' job is to push the computer into the AI cactus. Fair? And also, stop fucking jumping. Stop jumping off the edge. Stay on the platform. It's like the story of Dragon Ball Z. I've never seen Dragon Ball Z. Five years have passed since Goku's victory at the 23rd World Martial Arts Tournament. Goku's son, Gohan, is wandering in the woods when a tiger steals his hat. Goku, searching for his son, finds his hat. He suddenly sees Gohan floating down a river but can't reach him in time as he goes over a waterfall. Meanwhile, a mysterious alien has arrived on Earth looking for a man named Kakarot with a special device called a scout that he wears on his head. Okay, this doesn't help me understand what you guys need to do. I was hoping this would like give some guidance onto what you have to do to get better at this game. The mysterious alien arrives and reveals himself. He's a Saiyan warrior named Raditz and he's Goku's older brother, meaning Goku is actually Saiyan. Raditz reveals Goku is Kakarot. Goku learns that he's sent to destroy all life on Earth, but his memory loss from a terrible fall as a child. You're actually a super powerful Saiyan. You just hit your head. So you keep jumping off to your fucking death, okay? You have to focus. You're a super Super Saiyan. You can survive. You can stand on a platform. You are capable of this. I'm your brother, Raditz. I'm here to tell you about your potential as a... What, you, what are you? What is Goku? Is he like a carpenter? Is he like a hat maker? Whatever. You're like a hat guy. You can do this. Goku's a farmer. Like a hat farmer? Tell you what. I'll give you a character with a hat. Oh, Terry. Karate master with a hat is perfect. We're not quite sure how the AI plays into this anime story arc yet. He'll continue to be random. Let's do this. Ready, three, two, one, go. All right, Mario's on the left side. We've got Wolf as the AI, and you guys, Terry. This is already looking way, way, way better. Holy shit. I'm seeing an issue. The right B and down B for the AI just <laughs> lets him go off the edge. I think we're gonna have to remove any movement for the AI for this to work. You guys are, have only lost one life. You've only lost two lives. Use the dash attacks, left dash attack, right dash attack, but use them in the right goddamn direction. <sighs> Here's what had happened. I hadn't made the AI cactus. I had made him a starfish. He was mostly prickly and stationary, but still moved a tiny bit. We aren't the problem your AI is. We <laughs> got one kill, all right? My guy did great. He just, his right B and left B killed himself a lot, okay? Who is he in the anime arc? In order to get Goku to join him, Rhett, hold on. We're gonna learn more about Dragon Ball Z lore. Which character in this arc is my AI? In order to get Goku to join him, Raditz kidnaps Gohan and orders Goku to kill 100 Earthlings before the next day. Goku tries to stop 
stop him, but not even he can stop his brother's power. Krillin and Roshi volunteer to join Goku and save Gohan. Who's Krillin? He tells them that once the Eternal Dragon grants <laughs> Who's a wish, the Eternal he Dragon? Will not Just to be clear, I have not seen Dragon Ball Z. This is the beginning of the show. Are you supposed to follow any of this? This is nonsense. I thought this is like. Doesn't everybody think this is a good show? Suddenly. Piccolo appears and proposes that he and Goku temporarily team up in order to stop Raditz. Who's Piccolo? Goku and Piccolo arrive and it's remove the their weighted clothing, boosting their power levels. <laughs> Okay, we just... All right, I'm happy to announce that I'm removing the AI's weighted clothing. We're not doing any more right B and left B. It's just gonna be more smash attacks. No, it'd be up smash and down smash. This is gonna boost the fuck out of his power levels. It seems like AI is Piccolo, and you guys are still a hat. What do you think about Terry? Do you feel like he is your Goku character? He does have a hat. Alternatively, we could look for somebody else who fits the mold. Who has a hat? Let's start off with that. Okay, Toad's got a hat. Toad could be Goku. King K. Rule is definitely Piccolo. These two characters immediately makes me think of Dragon Ball Z. I think we're ready, dude. Weighted clothes are off. Time to kick some Mario ass. Let's go. Chat immediately dashes left, but doesn't go off the edge. Look at this. Look at this. That's already opening with a hit and zero suicides. Chat, you're doing amazing. The AI is doing it. Piccolo is just sitting in the corner. At some point, hit Mario towards Piccolo. Shit. You've got to knock Mario towards Piccolo. He's not capable of doing anything. Oh, he shot a cannonball. Whoa! Okay, the AI just got a potentially finishing blow with the cannonball. Oh! AI just hit Mario. Mario gets back on stage. He's dead if you hit it. Nice, nice. One down. The AI is still at three. You guys are at zero lives. So now this comes down to a battle between a level one computer. You know you took his life. Don't take his lives. You can't. Guys, if you're gonna steal my AI's life, at least do something with it. He's putting in good work over here. And he knocked you off and he couldn't recover. Pretty close game. Well, let's learn about episode four. There's gotta be something in here that can get us better. Goku and Piccolo throw everything they've got against Raditz, but it seems that even their combined power stops short of Raditz's own strength. Piccolo has an idea that might beat him. The special, <laughs> the special beam cannon beam is cannon. newest and most powerful technique that he was planning on using against Goku. Wait, that makes sense! But King K. Rool has, has a cannon! he has the power up to make it work. And he requires five minutes to gather You have strength. to buy the, the so AI Goku five minutes and he'll start firing the back. cannon! Suddenly. Goku does manage to grab Raditz's tail, instantly weakening him. Raditz's tail? The AI just needs time to charge his special beam cannon. Here's my idea. The AI does what he's doing for one entire minute while you guys get some work in, and then he switches to 100% cannon attacks. It's stupid, but it's just stupid enough to work. Samus has a better... Is Samus green, though? <laughs> Wait, so you're saying Samus is actually Piccolo and that Samus will start charging her special beam power up after a minute. So you have to buy Samus enough time so that the AI can start using Piccolo's beam attack. We've got a plan. Oh, so then you guys switch to hero because Goku is the hero. Yeah, he looks pretty Goku. Kirby is more Goku. What about the CPU's tail? <laughs> We're going to have to grab it, right? Somebody's got to grab his little tail. So Piccolo the AI is going to do his normal smash attacks for the first minute and then the special beam cannon will be ready and he'll just fire gigantic beams the entire rest of the fight. Go. This is the moment where Goku and Piccolo team up to win it all. Come on. Stay center stage. Already grabbed him. Got the tail. That's huge. That's huge. He fires right back, which I think he did in the anime too. We just need to keep Piccolo alive. We're at 15 seconds. Okay. Dashes to the middle. Is safe. Just stay safe here. Use the grabs. Use the dash attacks. Use the right smash and down smash and up smash and down smash. All right. This is great so far. You've stalled. We've got 25 more seconds. Piccolo killed himself once. That's fine. 20 more seconds until the charge beam's ready. Don't kill yourself, Piccolo. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no, no. Shit. Piccolo's almost dead. Stall for 15 seconds. Three, two, one. Charge beam's ready. Go. Literally just kill Mario. Okay. That's perfect. We've got the charge beams active. You guys keep grabbing, Piccolo keeps shooting. Actual genius strategy. Just needs to fire the right direction, hopefully. All right, all right, keep him away, keep him away. Where did you go? Fire! This is it. The weaknesses have been discovered. We're grabbing tails and shooting ass. Let's go. Yeah. Oh my God. Actually sick combo. If you can just keep grabbing so Mario can't get close enough to Piccolo to kill him, then we're good. Take the shot, take the shot, take the shot, take the shot. That should kill. Okay, you guys died. That's fine. You still got two more. You still got two more. Just keep Piccolo alive. Stay in the center and grab the tail. One life left for Mario. Already at 20. 60% for Mario. Go left. Mario, Piccolo, you have to stop Piccolo from being hit. If he's hit off the edge, 
It's a death. Connect! Oh, shit. This is so close. All right, one more shot to the left. Come on. This is it. This could be the kill shot. Just keep him safe. Piccolo, no! Okay, misses the shot. Just keep... No, 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 no. Don't let him kill. Don't let him kill. Move left, move left, move left. Get the shot off. Get the shot off. Just distract him. Is that it? That's it! Let's go! Let's fucking go, dude! Didn't even need Piccolo's beam! And that's what happened in the anime, too, right? The beam only worked temporarily. Then Goku had to come in and finish it. Nice job! Grab the fuck out of his tail. Okay, we finished the arc of Goku and Piccolo beating Radish. So we're moving up to level 5 as our next opponent. We have to figure out who it is. Episode 5. Piccolo lets loose his attack, which hits both Goku and Raditz, killing the latter. Okay, we, so we destroyed Goku we, lives we to see Raditz. Bulma. Roshi and Krillin arrive and hear that the unconscious Gohan is alive, but thereafter dies, leaving his body to be taken by Kami. Wait, Goku died? Okay, so I guess you have to move to a new character. That'll justify you being Kirby, I guess. Or are you Gohan now? I don't know. Let's keep going. We have to keep going until we get to the next antagonist. To prepare, to prepare for, this, for threat, this threat, Kami takes Kami? Goku to the other world for training with the legendary martial arts master, King Kai. Hey, Goku's dead, right? Kami is Japanese for God, but he's dead. Okay. Does death mean anything in the show? Okay. Back on planet Earth, Piccolo regenerates his arm <laughs> and decides to take Gohan under his wing and train him with the hope right. of tapping into his hidden no, power. It's, this is a training Piccolo arc. Next up is a training arc on Serpent him Road. To train using fear. <laughs> what? And agrees with Master Roshi that Krillin should be the one to tell <laughs> Shishi the recent Shishi. news. Of okay, next stage we're playing on is Snake Way. When do we get to Vegeta? Is Vegeta the next antagonist? Nappa and then Vegeta. How many episodes until Vegeta? A lot of episodes. Why are we trying to comprehend Dragon Ball Z? It's to understand the anime arc that we have to go through to become powerful enough to defeat a level 9 CPU. It's obvious. That night, back at the wilderness, Gohan sees the full moon for the first time and goes through the same transformation <laughs> as his father once did, becoming a giant ape-like creature known as a great ape. Gohan okay. then proceeds to destroy the surrounding you area, guys are Gohan unable now, to right? control his new monster's You're Donkey Kong, power. for sure. Piccolo, who had been watching Gohan, destroys the moon <laughs> to stop the rampaging Gohan. Gohan reverts to his normal naked form and with no moon the chance of the <laughs> incoming science to transform is gone this sounds like an ai made this this is nonsense this is absolute nonsense i think we've learned if you guys are gohan because goku's dead you're definitely donkey kong no spoilers what episode do they fight somebody again so after literally like 20 episodes of filler i think the saiyans are finally back at earth and this after is the next opponent we're gonna fight travel the two saiyans vegeta and nappa arrive on earth sensing their power the z fighters mobilize for an attack the saiyans search for any large power levels with their scouters, and they head toward Piccolo and Gohan. Okay, However, we're almost there. The real there we battle go. Real is about to begin, begin. Because, because the Saiyan the Nappa steps up to fight, just to have some fun. Vegeta and Nappa grow some weird creatures called Saibaman to test their <laughs> opponent's strength. So maybe Nappa is, um, Olimar for Pikmin? With their plan of failure, Nappa begins to pound on Piccolo and Krillin. Only Gohan is left to fight, and the young Saiyan unleashes a powerful blast against Nappa. Okay. Okay, another powerful Enraged blast. by Gohan's attack. Nappa fires a blast at Gohan that could finish him off. Okay, However, Nappa's firing a blast at Gohan, Gohan. Piccolo protects Gohan by taking the full blunt of Nappa's attack. Okay, this is it. We know the strategy. Twitch chat is Gohan, who's a child who turns into a gigantic ape, I think. The AI is still Piccolo. Piccolo has to protect you guys from the full force of Nappa's powerful blast. So who's Nappa? What does Nappa look like? <laughs> okay. Who's <laughs> who's Nappa then? Ganon. Ryu. He's bald like Olimar. He doesn't look like Olimar. Olimar is the Cyberman, though. Yeah, that's true. Olimar might actually be the best fit. Kirby. He's not Kirby. Olimar is the most appropriately bald and makes Cybermen plant people. It said Gohan turned into a giant ape, right? This is Donkey Kong, dude. I've got this figured out. Gohan is definitely Donkey Kong because he turns into a giant ape for some fucking reason when he looks at the moon. Piccolo is definitely King K. Rule because he powered up more since the last fight. So now he's bigger. And in this battle, Piccolo protects Gohan by taking the full blunt of Nappa's attack. King K. Rule has a deflect attack. That's perfect. And of course, Nappa is Olimar because he's bald kind of and also made plant people or something. This fits perfectly. Oh shit, we're gonna need to change the code. Does Piccolo switch to anything after one minute? He could switch to just his deflect attack to save chat so he just starts defending all the time. Eh, that'll probably work. After like a fucking hour, we are finally playing Smash Bros again. Go! This is the second anime arc of Twitch chat play Smash Bros. Remember, you gotta grab his tail again. We have to grab his tail. It's not gonna be as effective, but it's still important. Are you literally just down being the whole time? Oh, almost with the forward smash. Nice. Okay, he was pulled out his Cybermen. Piccolo almost killed him. Down B seems to be pretty effective for what you guys are doing. And the AI's done a good 
job of just being prickly. Keep mixing it up. You know, little changes here and there. No, stay to the right. Careful, careful, careful. It looks like it looks like Piccolo has changed to just deflex. Oh, forward smash. All right, we're, we're, that's one down, one down. Let's go. Uh, Piccolo is just sitting over here defending against a beam attack. So if you guys are ever in danger, just stand near Piccolo. Okay, we're still technically in the lead. Wait, Piccolo, <laughs> Piccolo actually defended. All right, the AI successfully countered. Counter, counter the right direction. He's not turning. He's just sitting there countering. Piccolo is fucking worthless, dude. Get Olimar on the right side so that the counter will actually do something. Counter him, counter him. Go, Piccolo. <laughs> He's just... Wait, you got a hit. All right. Great job. You guys recovered. Whoa, holy shit. Again, it's two to two to two. We have the lead. Nice. Hit him up there. Dude, you guys are doing incredibly. All your training paid off. Dude, solid up here. That was crazy. And we just got a counter on the left side. One more and we beat Nappa. I think we can all agree. Piccolo's doing the real work here. Nice hit. Nice hit. Okay, now he gets the counter here. Get the counter here. This could save the episode. <laughs> okay, deflect the attack. Deflect. Oh shit. Careful, careful, careful. You've only got one left. Careful on the movement. Careful on the movement. One more counter, and I think Piccolo saves. That's it! Piccolo does it! Let's go, dude! Like an hour of listening to Dragon Ball Z paid off. First try! How did that work? <laughs> like, I feel like that shouldn't work, man. Level 5 computers are fairly competent. It even played out exactly like the anime. Incredible. Is there anything Dragon Ball Z can't do? Name one thing. Good news. That means we're back to listening to a shitload of Dragon Ball Z. Does anyone know how long it's gonna be before we fight Vegeta? Buckle in. We might be listening to a lot of Dragon Ball Z now. Episode 28. When all hope seems lost for Earth. Goku finally arrives. Let's go. Goku is able to easily beat Nappa thanks okay. to King Kai's training. So Nappa's out of the picture now. Goku avenges all of his friends. <laughs> Having <laughs> seen enough plot. of the fight, Vegeta orders Nappa to stop and let him fight Goku. Nappa asks Vegeta for help, but the cruel prince does not tolerate weakness. Vegeta kills Nappa with a sadistic display of power. Oh, shit. All right, this is it. This is the sick son of a bitch we gotta beat. That's some level 9 CPU shit right there. Do we start fighting him immediately? Or is it like 30 more filler episodes? With no one in their way, Goku and Vegeta begin their fight for the fate oh, of the let's Earth. Go. Vegeta decides to become a great ape for his rematch with Goku. What? By creating an artificial moon with a specialized ball of energy completed with blocks <laughs> waves, this is a Vegeta transforms into a great sentence. ape. Goku has one last attack that could finish Vegeta, the spirit bomb. Vegeta, however, is able to prevent Goku from using it. Who is the AI? One more episode, okay. Gohan and Krillin arrive at the yeah, battlefield, Gohan's at the battle. but have to be quick to save Goku, who is being pounded mercilessly by ape Vegeta. Krillin devises a plan to stop Vegeta, cut off the Saiyan Prince's tail. Okay, one, one more. Goku gives Krillin the part of the spirit bomb that he was able to save. Vegeta realizes in horror the artificial moon he created is still active, meaning Gohan can transform so, into an ape if he sees the artificial moon. So Gohan becomes a great ape? Hold on, we gotta keep watching. Oh, this is the end of the season. Season finale. So right now, Goku and Vegeta are kind of locked in there even. We know that Goku is definitely Ryu. We think that Vegeta, he's like an ape, but he's also not an ape because his tail got cut off or something, so maybe he's Sephiroth? This is gonna tell us who Gohan's gonna be. Gohan recovers, and then on Goku is telepathic commands. He looks at looks Vegeta's moon, at the moon and transforms and tra okay, into so a great Go ape. Gohan is an ape. However, unlike Vegeta, Gohan can't control himself in this state. Alerted quickly by Goku and Krillin's cries for him to defeat Vegeta, Gohan quickly regains some of his consciousness okay, and, then he and regains resumes consciousness the fight, some of his pounding on Vegeta. So Gohan is a giant ape and hits Vegeta. That's definitely the AI. And Gohan can't control himself in this state, which fits the AI perfectly. There's no logic to what he does. Un until, until he recovers his consciousness and resumes the fight pounding on Vegeta. So after like a minute, he can switch over to just punches because he regains consciousness. This fits perfectly. We know what we have to do. Wait, who's Vegeta? Who looks the most like Vegeta? Kirby. No, it's gotta be Kazuya, dude. Yeah, dude, Kazuya. Look at Kazuya. He literally looks l just like Vegeta. It's gotta be Kazuya. Let me set the stage. We're in a battle for the fate of Earth. Chat, the Goku of this stream, has been training and went to the snake bridge or something. What happened? He found a monkey and he trained by hitting a grasshopper or something. And he's back on Earth. We're gonna take on Vegeta, who's Kazuya, who kind of looks like him, and they both from the same genre of video games, and they're perfectly evenly matched, and this victory can only happen because of the AI, Gohan, who turned into a giant ape because of the moon. Gohan will not have consciousness from the beginning of the battle. He will only be doing random attacks, but then, after a minute, he'll regain consciousness, remember he's fighting for his family, and just start punching constantly, okay? We can do this. Level 9 CPU. You have to work together. Remember everything we've learned. Remember your training. Remember how you chased that monkey bubbles. You can do this, chat. 
Good luck. Again, stay in the center. Use a lot of attacks. Work your way towards the AI. Use Gohan, your son. All right, we're already starting off sort of strong. He's getting a lot of damage in. <laughs> Vegeta's pretty strong. He already, he already killed Gohan once. Maybe just smash attacks will do it? He keeps shooting a beam. That's not fair. Somebody took a picture. All right, you're doing well. You're doing well. Hit him, hit him. All right, nice. Just keep bouncing back and forth. If you work together, you can do this. Nice hit, nice hit. Nice hit into the AI. Come on. Dude, it, this is doable. This is probably doable. Oh, hit the punch. Oh, shit. Okay, Gohan uh, regain consciousness. He's just going to punch now. Go, Gohan. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, this is not. We got to get a kill. Dude, the right B and left B is... Oh, punch my Gohan! Let's go, dude! All right, you can do this. Oh, almost almost hit him with the other punch. Okay, it's all up to Gohan. <laughs> Shit. God damn it, Gohan. Okay, all right, all right, all right. First order of business. We got to give Gohan a better strategy. Right now, he's a dumbass. So according to the lore, he doesn't have any strategy at the beginning. And then after a minute, he regains consciousness. What does he do? Do we just down B him? He could just down B so he's slamming the ground. That would be the smart thing, right? Maybe just alternating between down B and up smash. We've got to survive for a minute. And then Gohan regains consciousness and we're good. This is Gohan's training with Piccolo. I think this will solve it. Add Krillin as a second AI. Who is Krillin? Okay, well, that's Kirby. The only thing missing is Krillin. Krillin is this guy who's just running around the fight, literally contributing nothing. But he's the only reason that Gohan regains consciousness. So we're adding to the team. Level one Kirby. Goku and Gohan and Krillin versus Kazuya Vegeta. We can do this. Remember the initial arc with Radish. Remember running through Snake Mountain and fighting a monkey and blowing up the moon or something. You can do this, chat. In three, two, one, go! Okay. Krillin is contributing absolutely nothing. It's got to be up to you two. Let's go. Okay, Krillin poked him for like 2% damage. Krillin, just like the anime, is just distracting and taking up time from the villain. Can we have Smash Mixer on so everyone gets cool anime moves in the final battle? That's a great idea. <laughs> Krillin is the worst. Krillin contributes nothing. Okay, no, that didn't work at all. All right, Krillin sucks. Gohan still sucks. I need to train him more. The missing piece, we need Final Smash. That way, everybody can use ultra-powerful anime moves, which is exactly what they do in Dragon Ball Z. It's taken three hours. We have perfectly recreated the entire first season of Dragon Ball Z. Let's go, chat. We now have the full team assembled, and we've got Final Smash Meter. The season finale of Twitch Chat Ball Z. Goku, Gohan, and Krillin versus Vegeta. Let's fucking go! Come on! Let's go, Chad! All right, hit him with the Kamehameha immediately, right off the bat. We need some dope final smashes in this, all right? Remember all of your training. No, don't kill yourself. Careful, careful. Do not kill yourself. Guys! Okay, Gohan's over on the right. He's worthless. All right, Goku's already down two stocks. Gohan's in the corner doing nothing. Krillin's worthless. This is gonna be impossible, but it's technically possible. Okay, nice grab there. Grabbed his tail. Okay, Gohan's actually doing his thing correctly. Wow, Krillin with the kill. Okay, look, the whole crew is here together. It's possible. Krillin's gonna have final smash soon for some reason. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Vegeta has final smash. <laughs> yeah, that's bad. Okay, Krillin has final smash. This could work. Krillin, do the part in the episode where you actually contribute. Nice! Let's go, Krillin! All right, that's the one part where Krillin actually does something. There's only one life left. One life left for Vegeta. We can do this. Okay, come on. Gohan, let's go. Shit, that was two shot. It's Krillin and Goku left. Goku, you have final smash. Is this it? Is this it? End of the up. Oh, he's alive. That was it! Let's go, dude! Season finale! Goku wins! Use the anime epic final smash! Yes! I can't believe that worked! And now, the epilogue. His life spare, Vegeta promises the surviving Z fighters that he will return and have his revenge as he leaves Earth and his spaceship for good. The battle for Earth ends in victory for the Z fighters, but at the cost of the lives of Piccolo, ah, fuck Kimchi, 
Jim, Kiatsu and Kami as well as Earth's Dragon Balls. What are the balls? What are the what are the balls? I don't understand. <laughs> this show makes no sense. Well, I guess chat can beat a level 9 CPU. Dude, I didn't think that was possible. I am so impressed. How do we win that? You killed yourself twice right off the bat. Does that fit? Wait, that totally fits because Goku was completely spent at the beginning of the fight. You actually made the lore accurate by killing yourself twice. And thus, with our heroes victorious, the evil Vegeta was banished from Earth and the Saiyans could now live in peace. But with Vegeta defeated, Goku and Gohan had no more enemies to fight. They were lost. They had no one to train with. The only enemy left was each other. And so one final battle for Earth began between the Twitch chat Goku and the artificial intelligence Gohan for the season finale of Twitch Ball Z. Three, two, one. One life. <laughs>